everyone. Teacher Marie is here. How are you today? Good. I hope all is doing very well. Um, so yeah, now we are up to unit, what was it, 11? So now we're up to unit 12. So let's, let's do this. Okay, so just bear with me. I'm just going to share my screen. And here we are. Oh, there we go. So, fantastic. All right, unit 12, reading and understanding. So reading and understanding. So number one, look and read. So what do you see? Have a look at the pictures. Okay. We have Gino's Place, Happy Books, Toys, Bikes, Shoes, and around the corner we have Sweets. So, let's have a look down the bottom. What does it say? In the mall, there are lots of shops. In the cake shop, there are buns and cakes and biscuits. You can get pizzas, pizzas at Gino's place. Happy Books is a children's bookshop. The toy shop is quite small. You can get trainers and boots and party shoes at the shoe shop. At the sweet shop, you can get chocolates and ice cream. Oh, that sounds good. I love ice cream. Okay, so going on, remember, remember everything that we've just mentioned in the story and make sure you've related it to the picture, okay? So number two, write the answer. Where can you get Okay, let's have a look at number one, cakes. Where can you get cakes? It's already done for you. So it says here is in the answer, it says at the cake shop. Okay, number two, toys, toys. So where can you get toys? Have a look up here, have a look at the picture and then have a look in this area here have a look at the at the writing have a bit of a read if you can't remember and then once you've found what you think you think the question uh, the answer is to the question then quickly write it down all right so number two again where can you get toys number three where can you get trainers? If you're not sure what trainers are, trainers are like joggers. So for instance, like jogging shoes. Yeah, so um, that's what we also call trainers. Okay, so where can you get trainers? Number four, ice cream. Where can you get ice cream? Where do you think we can get ice cream from? Have a look in here and then have a look also up here. Where do you think we can get ice cream? Number five, where can you get pizzas? Where can you get pizzas? Number six, where can you get books? Where can you get books? Okay, number three, write the answers. What can you buy at the cake shop? Number one, what can you buy at the cake shop? Number two, the shoe shop. Okay, what can you buy at the shoe shop? Have a look, remember, what do you see? And what have you read already? Can you remember? Okay, going on to question three. What can you buy at the sweet shop? 
What can you buy at the sweet shop? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, once you have done that, let's move on to the next page. Okay, sentence building, unit 12, number 80, page 83. Okay, in, the, in this rectangle box here, it says a preposition tells us where something is. So the drum is on the bed. Have a look at the picture. The drum is on the bed. Is it on the bed? I think so. So number one, complete the sentences. Now we are talking out pre about prepositions. Prepositions is where things are, where they are placed next to. Are they under or are they on top? Are they behind or are they in front? Okay, where things are. Okay, so number one, in the gray box, it says on, in, under, and behind. All right, so number one, have a look. Before we carry on, let's have a look at the picture. We have a bed with a doll. I see a ball and a chair, a table and a dog, and a toy box with a bunch of toys. Okay, so let's go down to number one. The dog is something, the table. The dog is the table. Where is the dog? Is it on, in, under, or behind? Okay, going on to number two. The doll is something, the bed. The doll is something, the bed. Is it on, in, under, or behind? Number three, the ball is something, the chair. The ball is something, the chair. Take a look at the picture. Where do you see the ball? Where is it? Where is it placed around the chair? Okay, is it on? Is it in? Is it under or is it behind? Hmm. Number four, the toys are the box. The toys are the box. What would you put down? Okay, I'll leave that one for you. Number two, where is it? Right. Okay, so we're still talking about prepositions. Prepositions, remember, tell us where something is. Okay, where is the doll? Where is the doll? Now, I don't want you to just say it uh, under or behind or in or on. I would like you to write it is such and such. Where is the ball? It is. Okay, what it's on, what it's under, what it's, what it's, yeah, um, sorry, in. So make sure you write the whole sentence for me, not just where it actually is. Okay? All right, I'll leave that up to you guys. So number one is, where is the doll? Number two is, where is the ball? And number three, where is the dog? <laughs> I'm sure this is going to be easy for you guys. Okay, moving on to the next one. Page 84. Now we're up to unit 12, grammar. And it says, number one, we're going to read and draw. This time, you're going to draw where things are. So take a look at the picture. 
So what it says here, it says, there is a cat on the chair. So I want you to draw a cat on the chair. Okay, next is, there are flowers on the table. Draw some flowers on the table. Hmm. Okay, next we have, there is a box under the table. There is a box under the table. Okay, remember, draw that box under the table. There are toys in the box. There are toys in the box. Where are the toys in the box? Can you draw one for me? There is a picture on the wall. There is a picture on the wall. Can you draw me a picture on the wall, please? There are two girls in the picture. Now, there are two girls in the picture. In the picture. My square was just a little bit too bigger than the screen. <laughs> okay, so if I can get you guys to do this for me, that would be great. Fantastic. Okay, moving on to number two. Look and write. Look and write. So, have a look at the picture and then we're going to write where they are or what they are. So, hang on, let's have a look. Look at the toy shop, the cafe and the bike shop. What can you see? Okay, so number one, there are dolls in the toy shop. Wow. So have a look at number two, follow. So that's number one. Number two, something in the toy shop. What's in the toy shop? What else is in the toy shop? Okay, I want you to do that for number two and three. Tell me and write down what is in the toy shop? What do you see? And don't just write what they are. I would like to write, see this as sentences, please. Okay, number four. Something in the cafe. What do you see in the cafe? Can you please write this down? Oop. And then we have another one that's in the cafe. What do you see that's in the cafe? Hmm, what's this here? Okay, going on to number six. What do you see in the bike shop? Tell me what you see in the bike shop. Fantastic, all right. I'm sure you guys can do this. All right, so going on to the next one. <gasps> okay, so instead of, okay, so what I would like you to do in question one, I would like you to color black and blue. Black and blue. So look at the, look at the, I would say puddles. Let's say, let's call them puddles. And we're going to color them black and we're going to color the other one blue where it says blue. Okay, so number two. Have a look. We have a, well, number one is done for you. We have words starting with cl or fl. Cl or fl. So number one, it says already done for you it says clock see the picture it's a picture of a clock and what does it start with cl c l o c clock great now once you've done that i want you to also write the word down below okay what is this one fl ag fl ag going on to the next one Cl -own. Cl -own. And the next one, fl hour, fl 
hour. Okay, now after you've done that, I would like you to write all the words down once again to make sure that you've got it nice and clear. Okay, so number three, color the, color the flag black, color the flower blue. Okay, once you've done that, number four, color the clown blue and then color the clock black. Have you noticed that these words here with clown, clock, they start with a CL and flag and flower, they also start with the FL. So, well not also, they start with an FL. So, remember to try and practice these words as well. Fla Ag, flower, flower, flag, clown, clown, clock, clock. Okay, once you've done that, we will move on to number five. Choose and write. Choose and write. So, number one, we have fl, pl. Have a look at the picture. What do you think matches that picture? Okay, once you've, once you've figured it out, I want you to write those letters down here and then I want you to write the whole word down below. Okay, number two, bl or gl. Bl or gl. What matches the picture? Number three, pl or cl, pl or cl. What do you think matches this picture? What two words, either one or two, goes down here to complete this word here? Okay, have a look at the picture as well. That's your clue. Okay, moving on. Let's do this. Okay, so writing. Match and writing, page 86, match and writing. So, have a look, what do you see? So, what's this up here? Okay, when you draw your line towards the correct of what you see, uh, when you match the word to the, to the picture, I would like you to write that word across here, okay? Even though it's written down here, I also would like you to practice spelling them as well and then writing them down here. Okay, see how number one is done for you? What's this picture? Cakes. So draw a line to the cake, to the word cake, and then write it down here. Okay, I would like you to continue on with the rest. I'm sure you can do this. All right. Moving on to the next page once we're once you've finished that one. Okay, so still on unit 12 and it's about your writing. So let's do so write the names of the shops. Write the names of the shops. Okay, what shops are there? What can you what can you get at the shops? So number one is done for you. So we're starting from, by the looks of it, we are starting from here. And you know what I will do is to make it easier. So number one down the bottom here, there is a cake shop. You can get cakes at the cake shop. So let's look for the cake shop. Let's, is that a cake shop? I don't know. I don't think so. What's that one? No, 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 no. Ah, here, here's the cake shop. So we write that one down, cake shop. So that's the cake shop in, oh, hang on. Let's see if I can move that over here. So that is number one. So that's the cake shop. 
So I'd like you to try and move on to the next one. So this is number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Okay, so if say you happen to get confused, oh actually, so just before, instead of just telling me or writing down it's the cake shop, this is the, uh, I'll give you a hint, toy shop, but yep, so just make sure you don't just write that. So I would like you to also write like the whole thing in, in, a, in as a sentence. What you see, so you're telling me what you see. There is a, you can get a, you can get, what can you get in this shop? Okay, so just in case you get a little bit confused, have a look, oh, I'll just clear my drawings. Go back to, hang on, here, okay? This should be able to help you as well because here you have, oh, and maybe this one, oh, hang on, let's see. Yeah, so here should be able to help you and also some of the words in, in here as well. Okay, so if you are, if you get confused or you're not sure exactly which one is which or what is what, just let me know. That's fine. Just do your best. Try your best. Um, that's all I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the next page. I think maybe this might be. Oh, okay. So we're um, we're doing a checkup. So this we're doing everything that we've already learned. So, but yeah. So this is grammar and have a look on page 88 still on unit 12 i'll just double check it that is uh, the same hang on oh hang on yeah i think that one is yeah okay so great i just want to make sure that i'm not going too far ahead so what is the time Okay, I would like you to write down what the time is. So number one, have a look at the clock. Tell me what the time is. And I don't want to hear, like, see just nine o'clock or eight o'clock or 12 o'clock. I would like you to write it in as a sentence. So I'm going to ask you, what's the, what is the time? And you're going to reply to me. Okay, so I'll do that. Uh, if you can do that with number one, number two, number three, number four, that would be great. So just a quick clue. So number one, in case you're a little bit unsure what to say or what to write down. So what is the time? It is, okay, number two. I would like you to write the questions. So, number one, what something doing? He is riding a bike. Okay, number two, have a look. Something they are running. Remember, this is all sort of work that we've done before. Have a look at the picture. And how would you write that in a sentence to, as a question? Number three. Something, she is dancing. Okay. How would you ask somebody what she is doing? All right, just think about, have a little think about it. Okay, number three. Going on to number three. Right, there is or there are. Number one, something, an owl in the tree. There is or there are, what would you put down? Number two, something, lots of toys in the toy shop. 
Number three, 10 children in the playground. Number four, something, a castle on the hill. What would you put down? Okay, let's move on to the next one. So here we are, still on unit uh, 12, sentence building. Page 89, write the answers. What is the day after Wednesday? What is the day after Wednesday? What is the day before Sunday? What is the day before Sunday? What is the day after Thursday? What is the day after Thursday? Okay, so number two, underline the pronouns. She is riding. Underline the pronouns. Remember what the what a pronoun is? She is riding. Number two, they are playing football. They are playing football. Number three, he is reading. He is reading. Okay, going on to three. Number three, write on or in. Number one, the box is something, the desk. Remember, write on or in. Where is the box? Number two, the doll is something, the box. Where is the doll? Number three, the dog is something, the bed. Where is the dog? Okay. Now, going down below, color the sock black, color the truck brown. Color the dress green, color the plane blue. Okay, once you've done that, well done. Well done, very good, very good. Now let's continue on to the next page. Okay. So move on with Moby. So we've got clocks over here by the looks of things and they are next to a letter. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so what I would like you to do is have a look over here and I would like you to put the correct letter, correct letter that matches this sentence here. Okay, so the picture of the clock is going to tell you the answer to this question. Okay, so number one, I get up at seven o'clock, seven o'clock, which clock? is seven o'clock. Once you've got that down, please write the letter down here, the correct letter. Okay, number two, I go to school at eight o'clock. I go to school at eight o'clock. Number three, I read a book at half past nine. I read a book at half past nine. Number four, I eat my lunch at 12 o'clock. I eat my lunch at 12 o'clock. Number five, I swim at half past two. I swim at half past two. Number six, I have a drink at four o'clock. I have a drink at four o'clock. And then number seven, I watch TV at half past seven. I watch TV at half past seven. Right, 
So once you've completed that, I would like you to move on to question two. And this, I think I'm going to let you guys do. Because if I go along and do it, I'm going to end up telling you the answers. So you'll have a look over here. Remember what days of the week the, uh, they are. So we have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So remember, have a look over here. These are your clues already. You've got your clues down. And I believe, I think you can all do this one. Okay. All right. So moving on to the next one. That's it. Yep. Okay. So we are on our last page of unit 12. So now what I'd like you to do is follow the lines, trace the tracks. So let me know. So for instance, sweets, sweets. So what, what train goes down to what shop? Okay, have a look. So I'll tell you the first one. So letter C goes down to the sweet shop. Okay, so now that we found that, so hang on to so actually, oh, sorry, maybe I should have went with that letter A because that one's already given you the answer. So number one, train A is going to the toy shop. Train A is going to the toy shop. There are toys at the toy shop. There are toys at the toy shop. Okay, in the next questions here, so say number two, train B is going to the what shop? What do you think he, it's going to? And I want you to tell me what train B, uh, what train, uh, what, what shop that train B is going to has in it and you need to tell me uh sorry hang on there are a bit like this one in in question a just follow this up here so you've got there are toys at the toy shop so you have to tell me what do you what what sort of things are at these shops okay so follow the follow the line and then show me what the I have a cat on my kitchen and it's not my cat. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. Um, sorry. Uh, so I have um, number two, train B is going to the what shop? There are, what are, thing, what are the things in this shop? What do you find at this shop? Okay. And what shop again is it? Okay. So I'd like you to do that again with question three, four, and five, please. Okay, once you've done that, well done, guys. You have finished unit 12. Okay, bye for now. Bye.